All right, let's go ahead and get started. Sean will be here shortly. Um, hopefully we can do the items that do not require his participation before he gets here. If we don't, we will skip from ongoing discussion down to issues and then come back to topics where Sean is needed. So the previous meetings are linked here if anyone has any comments on them or any changes to be made. Um, and moving on to ongoing discussion is the leadership check-in. Um, I believe it was last February when the current leadership um, took our seats. And I said at that time that we would check in in a year, um, basically just Get a vote of confidence. I've reached out to both Pat and Thomas. We are all willing to stay in our current roles if the board is happy with what we're doing. Um, but just wanted to get it out in public, you know, whether we are good to go or whether somebody else would like to run for a position or if anyone's unhappy with what we're doing. Um, from some emails like Bex, who's not here, he was in favor of us all continuing. Does anyone have any comments, concerns on anything that's been going on with the leadership in the last year? It's been great. So I'm in favor of continuing with the status quo. Great. Um, I think jo no, Josh replied. Celeste, do you have anything, any objections to us continuing? No, you guys are doing a good job. Okay, so we will continue with the current leadership. Um, I will remain as chair, Pat will remain as co-chair, and Thomas will remain secretary for the board. Um, so the domain names came from a request that was, a, whoop, we have something else coming in, oh no. Um, basically a request for a new mirror and a domain name was registered with a CentOS dot domain name. Um, Sean was going to double check to make sure that there weren't any legal um, restrictions to doing so. I emailed our legal. Um, oh, Sean made it. Yeah, I, I just popped it. Like, okay, perfect. Uh, I emailed legal and uh, unless they sent me something back and they, I got a confirmation that they got the question, um, but I have not yet gotten an answer. Um, so yeah. lawyer time tends to be nonlinear. Um, uh, yeah. If I saw you were on, is there any concerns from the technology side should legal say we can't use centos.names or are we good to go with whatever domain name a mirror might have? I'm not aware of anything Amy, that, that would prevent it other than legal requirements. Technically speaking, I don't see how the setup would be any different from, from any of the rest of the mirrors in the network. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it should be fine. You just never know. Um, any hidden code within things that look for certain things. All right, so we are still on hold with the domain names discussion until we hear back from legal. Um, hopefully we'll hear something back before the February meeting. If not, we'll bump it until we do have a reply. Um, so that brings us to CentOS Connect and FOSDOM. And Sean, I know a lot of this is in your update. So let's just go ahead and skip down to your update. Okay, um, then, uh, well, I think I've said before, it's happening February 3rd. Um, and I, I mean, I think all the board members who are coming have registered, but for anybody else watching, um, if you are planning on coming, um, then please register, it's free, but it helps us a, a whole bunch for planning. Um, and we have a number of other events happening around, well, first of all, I'll say at FOSM itself, we have a, um, a, a booth for uh, CentOS and RDO. Uh, Fedora will also have uh, its own booth for people who are active in both projects. Um, and we will need some help with booth staffing. Uh, the distribution staff room is on Sunday, the second day of FOSDEM, the fifth. 
Um, and I, I think most, you know, sometimes people probably want to attend that. Um, I'll certainly be parked in there all day long. Uh, so particularly on Sunday, uh, we could use help with booth staffing. Um, I mean, I can do the booth all day Saturday. I'd like a break, but I could do it all day. Um, but we will need a, a help with Sunday booth staffing and, you know, possibly tear down because they want things torn down. Um, they, they want tear down to start at 1700 and be finished by 1730. The distro's DevRub schedule goes until 1700. Um, so I can, you know, run over for teardown, but um, somebody can help with teardown. Um, we have a, you know, demo computer um, that uh, I can't leave out if I don't have somebody being responsible for it. We don't need it, you know, but it's nice to have out um, if somebody's there and is responsible for it. Um, and someone's at my doorbell. Um, so, yeah, help with the booth and distro staffing is happening. And then there's other events happening around. Um, Around FOSDEM, in particular, we have our, uh, our web and docs working day on Monday, February 6th, the day after FOSDEM. Um, we have a planning page for that on the GitLab. Uh, so if you'd like to come, just drop your name in. You probably can't edit the, the uh, main text, but drop your name on a comment and, and we can put it in there so we know you're coming. Um, on my list of things to do is to develop a kind of a, a a schedule or a, uh, not a schedule, a, a, a what we're going to do on that day, right? A, a bit of a plan. So it's not just um, flying by the seat of our pants. Um, and I, I think that's everything around FOSDEM. There's also um, the hyperscale meetup, but I don't know if Davide wants to just, I don't want to take his thunder on that. So. Yeah. Um, so the, the hyperscale meetup is on the day before Connect. Uh, it's open to everyone. That if you, if you want to join, it's nominally nine to five. Uh, what is likely to happen is that we'll start around nine ish, and then at some point it will devolve into mostly social chatter when we run out of like useful work things to talk about. Um, but you're welcome to drop in at any time. Uh, I will rig up some kind of Zoom bridge so that remote folks can participate as well. Uh, we will see how well that works in practice, but we'll at least try. Um, and the details are posted on the bell and on discussions with our project.org. And there's a link to an Eventbrite thing where you can sign up as well. And that's where we'll send the link for the Zoom. Well, the other, the, one other fascinating thing is um, we'll have a Fedora and CentOS contributors dinner on Saturday, the, the um, 4th. Um, It'll be, I think the room has capacity for 64. We'll have an open sign up uh, link for people and I'll send that out as soon as I can. I, I booked it and I, um, I very stupidly forgot about differences in date formats. And so I accidentally booked for April 2nd instead of February 4th. <laughs> um, I should know better, but uh, anyway, I'm emailing the restaurant and telling them, no, no, I messed up. So uh, as soon as I get that squared away, uh, we'll have the, uh, we'll, we'll send the, the thing out for people. Yeah. And going back to the stand, I put a note in the, the notes, but, um, I shared the link to the center West sign up and just let people know that they didn't have permissions to add their name to say they could work at the stand to let me know. And I would add them in there. So hopefully we can get one or two people out of RDO to take a shot at the stand. Okay. Scale is your next item. Oh, I mean, are we just, just you know, we Do we have anything else for FOSDOM? Here? No, that's all the FOSDOM stuff. Does anybody else have anything for FOSDOM? I warned that this is probably going to be a pretty quick meeting as we all get back into the swing of being back at work. All right, go ahead with scale. Okay, uh, that's a quick thing. We, I, we have a booth at scale. Um, and so I have a planning page up there for it. Um, you know, we'll staff it. I don't have any other commitments around scale. I, I'm almost certainly going. I haven't booked it yet. Um, but, you know, I can, I can staff the booth pretty much the whole time, but it's nice to have other people too. I will be mostly busy staffing the meta booth 
Um, mm-hmm. I would also have space at that booth. So if there's things we want to demo or do whatever, and there happens to not be enough space at the Sandos one, I'm happy to put some there. I'll probably put up a demo of like Fedora on Apple Silicon or something and cool. maybe a box running Sandos, but we'll see. Fedora might uh, end up being at our table, but the current plan is for them to be separate. So we'll see how volunteers will work out. If you need me to be there, we can talk about it, but I was not planning on being there. All right, so that is our community architect update, and I'm going to move up to issues because we passed that by. Um, As we've already mentioned, the Monday after FOSDEM, we will have a Web and Docs working day. And that will deal with some of the issues out of number 88, improve onboarding documentation for new contributors and projects. And as we already have a note that it's going to be planned at POSDOM. Um, I did want to hop down to number 85 vision statement. Um, Pat, I think that you put the comment, no comments from the list. If we're ready to decide that is our vision statement, we can go ahead and close this issue out. Yeah, at this point, I'm ready to pull the trigger on it. Um, it's been open for review for oh, about three months now. We've solicited feedback from the list twice. I feel like if people cared, they'd have said something by now. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that out. And if we need, where to do we want to website? Put that. Okay, yeah. So that's and maybe that's something to talk about in the. Uh, Web and Docs day is, and docs. is where, okay. where that belongs on the website and not just in a closed GitLab issue. Yeah, yeah. we definitely have to have it out there somewhere. Um, yeah. The website makes the most sense. So maybe actually we put a comment in there that we're going to discuss where it should reside um, at the Web and Docs day. And I know you're not going to be there, Pat. We'll come back to you because it's your issue and let you know what we decide. And if we need yeah, to, we'll reach yeah, out I'm to you during the day. I'm confident you'll find a great place for it. Um, it's one of those things that fits wherever it makes sense to fit. Yeah, usually somewhere like an intro to the project or maybe under governance or two locations we can discuss. All right. Do we have any updates on any of the other issues? Number 67, 79, 380, or 90? I know Neil was going to work on 90, and he is not here today. Okay. Jeffro and David, I know you mailed out SIG reports. Is there anything yes, you would like uh, to discuss? Yes, mine is on the blog. Uh, the Hyperscale one is on the blog. Uh, yeah, I have mailed it out. I have not yet put it on the blog, but I'll do so probably tomorrow or the next day. Okay. Put a comment. And but by the way, when one thing from last week is uh, from last month, sorry, was to fix uh, some uh, SIG chairs that didn't have access to the blog. I think I did, but I didn't send, I didn't ask people to check. So I will do that because I think everybody's at it now. Okay. But I, I think need Neil was one of the to... people. Yeah. Okay. Um, does anyone have any other business? Don't you love the first meeting of the year where everyone's just still getting into the thing? And also not going through the issues individually does massively speed things up. Yes. Um, Particularly for the stuck ones. Yeah, because we were just basically reading them and going, we have no update. Mm-hmm.
All right, then I'm going to declare this meeting ended. Um, and we can stop the recording. And if anyone who wants to discuss FOSDEM plans, arriving coordination, we can just stay on and do so. But I don't think we need to record that. Okay, nothing else. I cut the recording. Ah, I can't because I with the wrong oh, account. You, so, oh, David, yeah. can you stop the recording? Yeah, so we don't like kick everyone else out accidentally again. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't Sorry, Neil. <laughs>